Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Me escuchan? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ok, mucho gusto de conocerlos a todos. Este, este va a ser el grupo de intermedio para las clases eh, de, pues, de inglés corporativo. Eh, qué bueno que se unieron. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Yo sé que están haciendo un gran sacrificio, ¿verdad? Porque unos quisieran estar ya viendo tele o haciendo otras cosas. Pero este, lo importante es enfocarnos en qué queremos de estas clases, ¿verdad? El, el objetivo. Entonces, mi nombre es Jorge Asensio. Yo voy a ser el licenciado que le va a estar como ayudando. Es como una ayuda, un soporte a lo que ustedes van a estar realizando por ustedes mismos en la plataforma, con los ejercicios. Y vamos a estar explicando más o menos lo mismo, ¿verdad? Este, nada más dándole refuerzo. Si usted tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta pues la puede hacer a través del grupo de WhatsApp o las puede traer aquí para que todos pues compartamos. ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a empezar nada más con generalidades y luego nos vamos a presentar pues ya que nos vamos a estar viendo de lunes a jueves de 9 a 10, ¿verdad? Ese va a ser el horario. Entonces vamos a comenzar. Solo les voy a compartir aquí la imagen. Esta creo que es. Vale, entonces, vamos, esta semana vamos a completar la section one y section two, ¿verdad? Section one y section two de inglés corporativo. Como ya les dije, eh, voy a empezar en español esta clase para que ustedes pues, puedan entender. Yo sé que todos tienen diferentes niveles de inglés. Unos tienen más esta experiencia, otros pues tienen un poco menos. Pero este, vamos a, a tratar de mejorar el nivel, ¿verdad? Practicar y aclarar dudas. Entonces, mi nombre es Jorge Asensio. Este es el inglés intermedio módulo 1, de lunes a jueves, de 9 p.m. a 10 p.m. Este, por motivos de las lluvias, ¿verdad? Ayer no pudimos tener la clase, pero la vamos a reponer el viernes. Solo por esta semana, el viernes, vamos a tener clase. De ahí sería de lunes a jueves. Y vamos a terminar el 28 de julio. Vamos a estar desarrollando diferentes temas. Cada día va a ser un tema diferente. Claro que va a ir relacionado, pero este va a ir siempre algo diferente, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicar, vamos a hacer más prácticas conversacionales, ya que ustedes escriben y tienen información además audiovisual. Si ustedes también buscan por ustedes mismos, pueden encontrar más información, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí nada más es para practicar lo que ustedes ya han aprendido, lo que ustedes están este, leyendo, lo que ustedes están haciendo en la plataforma. Vamos a, a presentarnos después. Eh, vamos a decir nuestro nombre, de dónde son y cuáles son sus expectativas de esta, eh, estas clases, ¿verdad? ¿Qué esperan obtener al final, verdad? Por lo menos del curso. Estas son las eh, generalidades, que son evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Las evaluaciones, es necesario obtener el 80% de promedio en tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo, justo después de cada clase. También se puede adelantar contenido. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. El material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. O sea que yo les, voy, les puedo dar información este, extra y si ustedes me la piden, pues yo se las puedo mandar a ustedes. Estas clases, como ya saben, se quedan grabadas en el canal de YouTube de Inglés Corporativo por si ustedes se pierden alguna clase, ahí la pueden volver a revisar, pero yo les recomiendo que siempre asistan a las clases, ya que no es lo mismo, ¿verdad? No sé cómo tienen su agenda para que ustedes puedan este, volver a ver el video o si les hace más fácil estar siempre en las clases. Esa sería mi recomendación. 
Serían estas las tareas y evaluaciones. La semana 1 tenemos la sección 1 y la sección 2. Eso es lo que vamos a cubrir. La semana 2 es la sección 3 y el midterm. La semana 3 es la sección 4 y la semana 4 la sección 5 y el final exam. Entonces son varios temas los que vamos a ver. Siempre la asistencia de las clases del 80%, avance y desarrollo de plataforma y aprendizaje, tener la cámara encendida. Si es posible para ustedes, les recomiendo que eh, enciendan la cámara porque es muy difícil, eh, en, más que todo en este tipo de, de clases en línea, saber si están poniendo atención o si están este, pues, recibiendo la clase o si tienen algún problema. Entonces, siempre tener la cámara encendida. La duración de esta sesión va a ser de 60 minutos. Todas las clases de lunes a jueves serán de 60 minutos. Vamos a, podemos trabajar en ejercicios en la plataforma y le pueden traer dudas aquí y después pues van a obtener su diploma. Antes de comenzar, siempre las normas de convivencia, ¿verdad? El botón de silencio, si usted no está participando, lo puede tener en silencio. ¿Por qué? Porque hay ruidos o sonidos que no controlamos Puede que sea el vecino, puede que sea eh, la televisión que están oyendo en el otro cuarto. Entonces eso puede interrumpir si alguien está participando o si alguien está, pues, pues yo estoy dando clase o estamos hablando de algún tema, pues ese ruido nos va a interrumpir, no vamos a poder escuchar. ¿verdad? Entonces siempre el botón de silencio y cuando participe, pues se lo puede quitar. Eh, la lista de asistencia, pues eh, nada más recomendarle que vengan a todas las clases en su cámara o cuando tengan en su cámara en, en su usuario, pongan su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Tal, tal vez a algunas personas no les gusta ponerle su nombre o ponen un nickname, pero es recomendable poner su nombre completo. Eh, la cámara encendida, participación activa, el uso de chats también lo pueden usar. Este, levantar la mano si quieren participar, ¿verdad? También es recomendable. Y siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Siempre ser respetuosos unos con otros, eh, no importando eh, la, la opinión que tengan otros, ¿verdad? Siempre hay que dirigirnos de manera respetuosa. Entonces, vamos a presentarnos hoy, ya que es primer día, para que ustedes puedan este, conocerse entre ustedes, y yo también, como yo les dije, yo soy Jorge Asensio, y me pueden decir Mr. George, Mr. Jorge, Mr. Asensio, teacher. Entonces, como ustedes... Eh, gusten, de esas maneras me pueden decir. Ahora nos vamos a presentar voluntariamente. Primero van a decir su nombre. My name is, ¿verdad? What's your name? My name is, where are you from? Um, porque estamos en un país muy pequeño, ¿verdad? Pero somos de diferentes partes. For example, I am from Santa Ana. I'm living in Santa Ana right now. I have lived in Santa Tecla and also in San Salvador. So, and what are my expectations? ¿Cuáles son sus expectativas, verdad? Uh, my expectations from this course is that you learn and practice a lot. So, that's what we're going to try to do right now, right? So, volunteers, un voluntario que quiera presentarse, que quiera decir su nombre primero. Me, teacher. Carla, right? Okay, introduce yourself, Carla. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. My name is Carla. I am 28 years old. I am from San Salvador. I live in Soyapango. My expectation in this course is uh, learning English a lot of, and learn new vocabulary and practice it a lot. Okay, very good. Nice to meet Only you, that. Carla. You are from Soyapango, right? Nice to meet you. Yes. And how is the weather in Soyapango? Um... And not, uh, right now it is um, good. No, it's raining. It's not raining. raining. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, no. nice to meet you, Carla. Next one. Nice to meet you. Me, teacher. Okay, who said me? Me, Iris. Iris, okay. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Iris. I'm 27 years old. I am from Santa Ana. And I want to learn more English and practice only. Okay, so that, those are your expectations, to practice more English. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, Iris, right? Yes, nice, okay, nice, nice, nice to meet you. Next one. Me, teacher. Okay. 
Okay, go ahead, introduce yourself. Uh, good evening, teacher and everyone. My name is Jaime Reyes. Mm -hmm. I am 40, 45 years old and I am a accountant mm -hmm. and I live in Tesaltepec. Mm -hmm. I hope from this class to improve the pronunciation. You want to improve your pronunciation? Pronunciation, yes. Okay, and where are you from? The Saltepeque, right? The Saltepeque City, yes. Okay, yes. and how is the Saltepeque City? Okay. Que Saltepeque. Que Saltepeque, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and how is the weather? How is the weather there? It's raining right now. It's raining right now. Okay. Nice to meet you, Jaime. Thank okay, you. next one. Nice to meet you. Juan, okay, Juan, you introduce yourself, Juan. Good night, everyone. My name is Juan Carlos Peña. I'm from San Salvador, but I'm living in Guasapa for my dad. Mm -hmm. And my expectation is uh, practice the listening, uh, learn new verbs um, and their conjugation for the different tense. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Okay, nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. So we are, you want to, your expectations are to practice more and to practice the tenses of the verbs, right? And pronunciation. Yes. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. Next one, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. What's your name, sorry? Hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jaime. Jaime, and my last name, Hernandez. Mm -hmm. I live in Cojutepeque. Cojutepeque? Yes. So, but um, my profession is accounting. accounting. I, I, am, I am 42 years old. Okay. Yeah. Um, only teacher. <laughs> okay. And what are your expectations? Why do you want to learn or practice uh, more English? Mm, my expectation for this... Um, classes learn learn very good okay or because um, when i travel down the united states i visit my family mm -hmm. and talk okay, my 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 family my my nephews my little nephew and niece and they for me speak english mm -hmm. because i i speak a little and no more very good because i Hello, hello, how are you? Because I, 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 I can, I can speak very good. Okay. Pero hago el esfuerzo. Okay, very good, very good. So you, you try, you want to speak better, right? Yes, yes. Okay. For your family. Exactly. Okay. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Jaime. Nice to meet okay. you. Nice to meet you. Let's see another um, volunteer. Yes, I okay. Me. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Cecilia Ponce. Mm -hmm. I my I live in San Salvador mm -hmm. um, in, in Colonia La Rabida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my in the school is uh, I speak English very well, mm -hmm. and I live this is my family in the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need uh, um, uh, go to travel and in uh, in other country. Okay, so you have family in the United States, and also you would like to travel to another country. Yes, it, you... it is is my spe spectrum too is a uh, 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 make uh other job um, and only that okay and also to have a better job okay very mm -hmm. good nice to meet you cecilia ponce okay nice to meet you nice to meet you too. uh next one me teacher okay what's your name my name is rosa maria de rivera i am 15 years old okay. i live in ciudad delgado my expectation is to improve my knowledge in English. Okay, nice to meet you. And you're from Ciudad Delgado, right? Yes. And your name is Maria Elena? 
Eh, Rosa María de Rivera. Rosa Maria de Rivera. Sí. Okay, I'm sorry because oh, Rosie. <laughs> okay, yes, because your your screen says Huawei Y9 2019. Ah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, next one. Okay, Noé. Eh? You want to? Okay. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Lisa Flores. I like to be calling this. Um, I live in Santo Tomas. <clears throat> and my expectation for this uh, layer in the new section and to be pronounced the English. Okay, the pronunciation, to better your pronunciation, right? Uh, oh, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. very good. No problem. Okay, next volunteer. Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. Um, okay, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Gabriela. Um, I want to improve my pronunciation. I want to practice. I also I used to speak English very well before, <laughs> but I love to practice and uh, that's why now I want to improve and practice and more vocabulary and everything. And okay. Just... Okay, and where are you from, Gabriela? Oh, sorry, um, I'm from Santa Ana. From Santa Ana. And um, I. Yeah, I I am working customer service mm -hmm. right now, and yeah, Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Gabriela. Okay, very good. And next one, Carla. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hello. Good evening, everyone. My full name is Carla America Quintanilla de Alegría. Mm -hmm. I'm from Sonsonate and I'm living in Soyapango right now. I'm married and I'm 28 years old. Mm -hmm. And my expectations for the course are, for example, practice more, uh, gain more fluency, and get a good Good, get a good job and okay. nice to meet your teacher and everyone okay nice to meet you thank you carla next one is vicente right okay uh, good night for everyone um edgardo galeas i'm from uh, san salvador i live in soyapango uh, well my expectation are um, speak more fluently in order to get a, a job okay and what kind of job would you like to to get with english well uh, i take another course uh, called uh, forgot the song i'm sorry i don't know how to say in english okay, no problem you can say it in spanish if you want to okay. desarrollador de contenido so okay. Well, I want to move in this area, but eh, bueno, lo más exigente pues exigen que, que, que sea en inglés, entonces por eso quiero a la par llevar los dos cursos. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, welcome. And next one, nice to meet you, Edgardo. Next one, Tatiana. Good night. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet My you. My name is Tatiana Larcón. I'm 26 years old. Actually, I live in Lourdes, um, in Nuevo Lourdes. Um, my expectations uh, are, I want to speak English with more fluency and I want to learn more vocabulary too. Okay, very good, very good. Nice to meet you, Tatiana. Hopefully, we will do that. Uh, let's see, next one, Hilma. Good evening. 
My name is Gilma Alferes. I am from Santa Tecla, but I live in Casaltepeque. Mm -hmm. I am 44 years old. Mm -hmm. My expectation are to learn more English every day to understand uh, it in its practice. Um, I am not working. I am I am at home, mm -hmm. but I I am studying English. Okay, very good. Okay, nice to meet you, Hilma. Okay. And hopefully, we will practice a lot of English and we will know a lot of vocabulary. Okay, very good. Now, Asusena. Good evening. Um... My name is Azucena and my last name is Castro. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm from in El Salvador. I live in Ilopango. Mm -hmm. uh, my expectation or I hope to learn English and improve my pronunciation and only that. Okay, and what is the name of, of the cat that you have there? <laughs> the name is Dovalos. Dovalos. Yes, okay. uh, I have, tengo mucho gato. How many cats do you have? 23. 23 cats. Yes, <laughs> okay. I love cats. <laughs> I, can, I can see that, okay, 23 cats. So say hello to Dovalos and nice to meet you, Azucena, okay? Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Let's see next one. Me. Who said me? Maria Siguenza. Okay. Maria Siguenza. Okay. Good evening. Bye. Good evening, Evan Plus. My name is Maria Concepcion Siguenza. I'm from Cuscatlan. I live in Santa Tecla for my job. Um, I have 41 or years, years old. Um, my expectation is uh, to learn more vocabulary in my pronunciation. Um, <coughs> only that. Okay, nice to meet you, Maria. Probably we will be able to help you with that. Thank you very much. Next one. Me teacher, um, I am Mercy Viera, and my ex uh, I am living in Ilopango City. And my expectation is uh, improve my pronunciation and vocabulary, and stop beginning afar to speak. <laughs> Only, thank you. Okay, very good. And nice to meet you, Mercy. And yes, uh, that's a really important point that Mercy mentioned. Right, that you don't have to be afraid of making mistakes. Probably you don't know how to say words, but you can say it here because we are in the class, right? Don't be afraid of, of speaking or saying something wrong, okay? That's okay. Next one. Let's see. Juan Linares. Okay, go ahead, Juan. Uh, hi, uh, everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos. Uh, my last name is Linares Hernandez, and I am from Colón. Uh, my expectations is correct. What is the pronunciation, teacher? Uh, expectations. Thank you. Okay. My ex expectations mm -hmm. are uh, to learn um, more English. Only that. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you, Juan Linares. Very good. If you don't know, ask right. Expectations. Very good. Next one is Alicia. Go ahead, Alicia. Hello. Uh, my name is Alicia Hernandez. I am from uh, Morazan. I live in Corinto. Mm -hmm. In my case, my expectations are first, I learned a lot English. Um, I improve my English vocabulary, listening, mm -hmm. speaking. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, participation, Alicia. Nice to meet you. Next one. Uh, 
let's say Mauricio, right? No, teacher. Could I? Yes, you no can problem. go ahead. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. 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 Uh, hello, good night, Mr. George. Everyone, everyone. Uh, I am Mauricio Ruiz. I am 29 years old. I from in Sensuntepec, Cabañas. Uh, due to my job, I live in Ilopango. And I would like to to improve uh, in this course, uh, to improve uh, the listening, vocabulary, uh, writing, um, general form, uh, improve my English. Okay, very good. So um, you just want to improve your English generally, right? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you, Mauricio. Very good. From Quesaltepec, nice right? Okay, nice to meet you. Sen Suntepeque. Sen okay. Sen Suntepeque, sorry. Let's see the next one. Yes. Next one. Brian, okay, go ahead, Brian. Good evening, teacher and classmate. My name is Brian. My last name is Fernando. I am from San Salvador. I live in San Martin. I like to watch TV programs and my favorite subject is English, my favorite sport is soccer. My expectations are I learn to practice new cavalry English. Okay, very and good. Mm -hmm. get, get, a, get a job of call center operator. Okay, you get you would like to get a job for a call center operator, right? Yes. Okay, Thank you. nice to meet you, Brian. Okay, next one. Walter, right? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Walter Quintanilla. I I am 47 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm from Usulutan. I live in San Salvador. And my expectation is learn to speak English. Very good. Very oh. good. Okay, nice to meet you, Walter. Is someone else you. missing? Someone else wants to introduce yourself? Hello. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hi. Hello, Rosaura. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good evening, classmate. My name is Rosaura Cotto. I'm 43, no, 43 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Salvador and I live in San Salvador too. I want to learn and I, I want to lose my nervous <laughs> to uh -huh. speak because it's, it's uh, um, a little difficult to me, but I want to try with, with yours for learn more. Nice to meet you, everyone. Okay, nice to meet you, Rosaura, very good. And next one, or is it everybody? Okay, uh, you're Noé, right? You can go ahead, Noé. Good evening, everyone. My name is Noe. Mm -hmm. My last name is Basque. I work at a company to sell fertilizer. And I work from home. My position is a scientific coordinator. I live with my wife and two children in Meolo mm -hmm. Um My expectation is um, I'm learning very much. Is the pronunciation and for uh, uh, more vocabulary for mm -hmm. Okay, you, your job is like fertilizer, you sell fer fertilizers? I'm sorry, did you? <laughs> yeah, your job, what is your job? Oh, my uh, job is uh, coordinator. Coordinator? I mean, yes. Administrator, okay. Administrator. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Noe. 
Nice uh, okay, very good. Someone else is missing or is everybody, has everybody introduced themselves? Yes. Rosaura, Walter, Mauricio, Gabriela. Yes, right? See? Yes, I guess everybody is there. So we are going to begin with the class, okay? Um, we are going to learn like the sections or uh, the topics that we have in the platform, okay? Um, ya los escuché en este momento y veo que todos tienen un nivel muy bueno de inglés. Este, si hay alguien que se traba o tiene miedo de hablar, pues aquí lo puede hacer para practicar. Pero recuerden que eh, siempre tienen que practicar en su tiempo libre para poder aquí traer dudas o siempre las dudas de la plataforma, etcétera, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a tratar de ir un tema diferente cada día. Por ejemplo, el tema de hoy va a ser el pasado. Yo lo voy a empezar en inglés, pero si hay algo que no entienden o quieren que lo repita o lo diga en español, lo podemos hacer. Entonces, eh, porque estamos en un nivel aún intermedio. Pero vamos a empezar en inglés en este momento. ¿verdad? Entonces, déjeme ver. Bueno, es, this is the goal for today. Este es nuestro objetivo para hoy. Entonces, cada clase vamos a ver el objetivo que tenemos para hoy. So, the goal for today is, uh, by the end of this class, we will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Entonces, eh, yo a veces hablo rápido. Sometimes I speak fast. So if you don't understand, say, slow down, teacher. Okay? Entonces, hable más lento, slow down. Repeat, teacher, repita, por favor, que no le entendí. Lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Este, also, I would like this course to be more conversational, right? Uh, converse more, speak more. Um, try to participate because sometimes with this kind of, um, well, remote classes, it's kind of difficult to see who's speaking, who's participating, who's not. I will try it and I will ask most of you, but you try to participate, right? We will try to participate as much as we can. Now, this is the first thing that we are going to learn today, the past tense. Probably you already saw this in the platform, right? ¿Quién vio esto ya en la plataforma? A ver. Who did, who did already? Who practiced? Nobody? You? No. No, no. you haven't watched it? Okay. okay, you can check it later, no problem. But we are going to introduce the topic right now. Vamos a presentar el, el tema, past tense, okay? We are in intermediate. Supposedly, we have uh, seen some of these. And also, we have seen some of the present, right? You know the present, right? I work, I eat, right? Things that we used to do every day, right? I study English. We use the present for daily activities. Now, the past, we use it for past activities, right? Actividades en el pasado. Cosas que ya hicimos. And these are the examples. Where were you born? I was born in Argentina. Were you born in Buenos Aires? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I was born in Cordoba. When did you move to Los Angeles? I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Did you take English classes in Argentina? Yes, I did. I took classes for a year. No, I didn't. My aunt taught me at home. Entonces, esos son todos ejemplos. ¿Qué tenemos ahí? What do we have there? Questions and answers. Pregunta, respuesta, ¿verdad? Okay, very good. If you, si ustedes tienen algo donde escribir un libro, lo pueden hacer. If you have something to write, you can do it. Or if you are using your computer, you can write in your computer, right? Pueden escribir en su computadora. Vamos a ir paso a paso. On the left side, en la izquierda, pueden ver que a formula, right? Formulas are really useful. Son muy útiles. Eh, las formulas son 
uh, para mí personalmente me sirvieron mucho porque es lo mismo. No importa, no importa si la oración es larga o es corta. Siempre es la misma, el mismo orden. Y ahí tenemos la fórmula. What is the formula? Subject plus verb plus complement. What is the subject? Do you, do you know pronouns? Subject, sujeto. Subject is sujeto, yeah. Subject in this case in grammar is sujeto, yes. yes. So do you know pronouns? What are the pronouns in English? I. Subject. Uh, subject. Subject. Yeah, the subject, the pronouns. Do you know the pronouns? Pronombres. Pronombres, yes, exactly. I, you, he, I, you. He, he, she, he, it, it, we, we right? you, they, they, exactly. Those are subjects and we can use pronouns. We can use I, he, she, it. We can use them as subjects, right? We can use names also. Uh, we can use, for example, Maria, right? We can use Iris, Iris. We can use Tatiana as subjects also, right? Okay, now... Also, we have the next one is the verb. And the verb, since we are using the past tense, we are using the verb in past, right? And the next one is the complement. Complement, complemento puede ser cualquier cosa. Complement can be an adverb phrase, uh, different words, etc. right? So I, over there it says, I moved here 10 years ago. Subject, I, right? Pronoun, I, subject. Verb, moved. What is the present of moved? ¿Cuál es el presente de moved? Moved. Moved, moved right. And moved is a regular verb or irregular verb? Regular. Regular. Regular, regular, regular verbs. Very good. Regular verbs. Very good. You know English, you know? You, you know already. So moved is a regular verb. Why? What are regular verbs? Porque solo se le agrega ed y no cambia completamente su estructura. Very good. We add ed and it doesn't change completely the structure as I said. Very good. Thank you very much. And then we have the rest of the sentence, the complement, the extra information. So we have I've moved here 10 years ago. If we use this formula, we cannot lose. We can um, write in the same way all the time and it doesn't change, right? It's, it's positive statements for a positive statement in the past. So the second one is I took, I subject, took verb, English classes for a year, the complement. So uh, what is the present of took? Take. 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 What, is, what is the meaning of take in Spanish? Tomar. Tomar, Tomar. exactly. Tomar. Very good. So I... That is a regular or irregular verb? Irregular. 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 irregular verb. Very good, because they change, right, completely. Ellos cambian. Entonces, take, the past is took, is a irregular. It's an irregular verb. And the rest is the complement. So we follow this structure, and we follow the same structure. If Even if it's a long sentence, we follow the same structure, okay? Now, the next one, let's see here, is the negative statements. So we have another formula. We need just to learn it, right? We need to practice it. It says subject plus didn't plus verb plus complement. So we have the subject I and didn't. What is didn't? What is that? The auxiliary to the, to the okay. sentence. Very good. Thank you very much, Mercy. Very good. Didn't is an auxiliary, right? For the sentence. Negative statements, we use didn't. Then the verb. The verb, it says, I didn't speak. Speak is in present or in past? In present. In present. In present. Why? Why is in present if we, we are using the past tense? Because the we use didn't. Past. Exactly. Because we use didn't. We use the auxiliary, right? If we use didn't, the verb is in? present right present. very good so i didn't speak english 10 years ago no hablaba inglés o no hablé si sí, no hablaba no hablé inglés hace 10 años no hablaba inglés hace 10 años very good and we have also 
the questions. We have WH questions and we have yes, no question. Um, what, are, what is a WH question? Where, what, why, what, when. Where. Very good, very good. We use we... WH word, right? What is where, when, what, who, right? All of those are WH words. ¿Por qué son WH questions? Porque te tenemos que dar más información. Preguntan por tiempo. Tiempo es when, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo? Lugar, where, dónde. Entonces, WH questions. And we have a formula there. It says WH word plus did. That is the auxiliary that you mentioned before. Plus subject, plus verb plus complement, and we see there the, the order and we have an example there. It says, when did you move to Los Angeles? When the WH word did the auxiliary subject you and move? Move is in present or is in past? Tense. In present. In present. Why? Present. Why? Because we use an auxiliary. Because of the auxiliary. So remember that i don't want uh, like to get confused only for negative statements and questions we use did in the auxiliary and the, the auxiliary is already in the past so the verb will be in present so if we use the auxiliary the verb is in present so remember that and uh, we have just no questions right just no questions are the ones that uh, we we just can answer with yes or no right for example, did you take English classes in Argentina? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. We can add more information after that. If you want to, but is that, that is a yes, no question. Did you take English classes in Argentina? And we use only the auxiliary at the beginning, right? We remove that part of the formula, the WH word, because we don't need it because it's not a WH question. It's a yes, no question, okay? Tenemos dos preguntas, la de WH y la pregunta yes, no, que solo se responde con sí o no. Son dos preguntas diferentes. Así que ya hemos repasado varias cosas. Hemos repasado auxiliares, pronombres, ¿qué más? Verbos regulares, irregulares y los diferentes tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? Very good. So you already know that. You already have that idea. So that, that's good. That's good. Also, we have here um, the past and more, more examples, right? With the same formulas that we have seen before. Where did you go to middle school? When did you first uh, study English? Did you have a pet when you were a child? Who was your hero when you were a child? Those are more examples, right? Those are examples that uh, you can see in the platform also. Uh, okay, it says que solo va a estar 45 minutos en la clase. Está bien. No se preocupen. Recuerden que estas clases quedan grabadas en el YouTube channel, ¿verdad? En el canal de YouTube, si lo pueden, si lo quieren volver a ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí está. Ya vamos a practicar las fórmulas. Entonces, uh, we have studied just no questions, WS question, the auxiliary did for questions and didn't for negative questions. Remember that, did for questions and didn't for negative questions. And if you use the auxiliary did, the verb will be in the present tense. Remember that, remember. Now we are going to practice a little bit because we have a little time. Um, I don't know if you have a question, Gabriela, Godoy, or Walter, Quintanilla. Do you have questions? Because uh, your hand is like that in your. Do you have questions right now? Uh, right now, um, I don't have questions. No questions. Very good. No questions. Okay, we are going to practice a little bit. Okay, the formulas that we have studied. It says transform, transform the following sentences and questions into the past tense. So you need to change from present to the past, right? For example, the first one, she goes to the school. Now, what would be the sentence in the past? She goes she to, went the school. to the school. She went to the school. Very good, because what is the past of go? Went, went. right? Very went. good. No. Number two, he doesn't play video games. She, she didn't play, she didn't play video, games. video games. He, he didn't. Remember the formulas. Remember the formulas. Subject plus didn't 
plus verb plus complement. Video game is the complement, okay? So he didn't play video games. And the verb is in present or in past? In present. In present because of the auxiliary, right? Number three, I eat chicken with fries. I ate I chicken with rice ate, and with very fries. Very good, very good. I ate, why? Because eat, the past is ate, right? Yeah, we will see later how we write it, right? We will see later. Now I want you to transform it just like that. Number four, we play music in the party. Transform it, please. We played we play music, in the, party. music yeah. in the party. We played. Remember that pronunciation with regular verbs is kind of complicated. Probably the writing is easy, but the pronunciation is tricky, right? So played, played. We played music in the party. Very good. Number played. five, the band doesn't march on the parade. The bad the march on, on the parade. A lot of people talking at the same time. Okay, so the band didn't, right? Didn't. 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 Didn't march on the parade. Very good. And now we have a question. This is a tricky question. It says, Is your mother at home? Is your mother at home? Is it what? Your mother, mother, your mother at home? What? Was. 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 Exactly. Was your mother at home? But we already mentioned that we use auxiliary did for questions. Why we don't use did in this question? Because, because is the verb to be. The verb is to be. Very good. So you, you know a lot of English. Yes, it's because of the verb to be, right? Instead of because it's the verb to be, we don't use the auxiliary did. For the rest of the verbs, we use. For the verb to be, we just change it, right? The past of is is was. Was your mother at home? Very good. So we have here how we write it. If you want to write it, you can do it right now. She went to the school. He didn't play video games. I ate chicken with fries. We played music in the party. The band didn't march on the parade. Was your mother at home? So we have all the exercises there, right? Those are in the past tense. Questions, do you have any questions right now? No questions. Okay, so we have seen a lot of, a lot of material right now. So keep on practicing. We are going to finish, we almost finished the class. So with an activity, it's a really easy activity. You are a lot of people right now here but we are going to try to participate as much as you can i will talk a little yo voy a hablar menos y ustedes me van a explicar verdad así como han hecho hoy me van a explicar las reglas como ya ven ustedes saben reglas saben las reglas activity it says um write five things you did yesterday or during the day use the past tense to create your uh, own sentences, right? Use the past tense. So we used to, we need to use the past tense about five things we did yesterday or during the weekend, for example. We have an example here. Today, I went to my job at seven o'clock. Yesterday, I went to the park with my family. So vamos a hacer ese ejercicio. Uh, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? ¿Cuál es el ejercicio que vamos a hacer? Tenemos que realizar eh, cinco oraciones sobre algo que hicimos ayer o durante la semana. Exactly. We are going to do it. We're going to uh, check some people right now, some volunteers. I want some volunteers, so we are going to have an example, a better idea. And tomorrow we are going to begin with this activity just to review, okay? So uh, who wants to begin? Like, who wants to tell me who did, like, um, in the... During the weekend, for example, or yesterday. Today I watched it, watched it, watched mm -hmm. the pronunciation, watched mm -hmm. uh, many passion in the in the afternoon. Many passion. You watch many passion in the afternoon. What do you mean by passion? Uh, I. What patient is patientes teacher? Uh, patience. 
patient. Oh, oh excuse okay. me. Yes, no problem. Patient. So you are a doctor? No, I am a psychology. You are a psychologist. Oh, very good. So you you so many you you so many patients. Okay. Very good. And what else did you do? And I I I is uh, I I didn't speak about your problem and uh, and I um what do you say I have I had work for for your problem I I said I don't know in English I said <laughs> that yes yes. I make yes. make it. I make to the the homework uh, in your house because your problems. Okay. And uh, I take, take. I took. Uh, I took. I took. Uh, um. I don't know. I took notes. Uh, I took. Mm -hmm. Uh, not about your your situation in your expedient, and um, and I make I make it my report to the day. Mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Uh, do we have another another? Um, Me, teacher. Tatiana, right? You're, yes. Okay, Tatiana, go ahead. What did you do on the, during the weekend or yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the park with my daughters. Then I visited my mother and we ate delicious pupusas in the evening. Okay, very good. And uh, that's it, you ate uh, pupusas. What did you drink? Uh, I drink, I drank Coke. Coke, okay, Coca-Cola, right? Very yes. good, you drank Coca-Cola, very good. Now, another um, volunteer, please. Juan. Okay, Juan, go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Can he use the was and the, and the past bear in the same, in the same thing? I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? Okay. Okay. For example, I give you an example and I don't know that you tell me it's correct or not. Okay, good, good. go ahead. The example is, today I was in my home when my sister called me. Uh -huh. It's correct for I use was in the first of, al inicio de la oración, and call in the final yes it's correct uh, today i was in my home or in my house uh, it's correct and uh, okay. when my sister called me right cuando mi yes. hermana me llamó okay called me okay uh, call is in past right c a l l e d right yes okay very good yes it's correct that okay. sentence is correct everything is in past yes okay thank you okay very good now a volunteer to Ex, uh, to say something about your weekend or something that you did before? Juan Carlos, you want to participate? No, teacher. Uh, okay. The last Friday, I went to the B, mm -hmm. the B, my friend. And what else? What? And what else did you do there in the beach? Mm, I don't understand very well. Oh, uh, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? ¿Qué más? Did you do there? ¿Qué más hicieron ahí? What else did you do there? Ah, uh, we played soccer. Mm -hmm. the, the sea. Okay, you play soccer. Uh, on the beach or in the sea? Uh, I played soccer in the beach mm -hmm. and, and we swam in the sea. 
Okay, you swam in the sea. Okay, very good. What is the present of swam? Swim. swim. Swim, right. Swim. Swim is nadar. Very good. We are about to finish, so we are going to give us a little bit of feedback. Vamos a dar un poco de retroalimentación, ¿verdad? Um, I saw, I just, just said at the beginning, I watch my patients, many patients, right? Cuando vemos pacientes, is see, right? Watch television, right? Watch television, watch a movie, but we see patients. And we need to practice pronunciation of a word so we don't know, right? Patience, patience. Also, uh, do homework. We do homework. We don't make homework. We do homework. And I took notes, right? Took notes, notas, notes about your situation, right? Situation. Um, hice un reporte, yo hago, no make a report. I do a report, right? I did my report. Uh, also, the rest was really good about pronunciation. Uh, for example, play, played, right? It was good. Play, played, swim, swam. Um, everything was really good. I ate pupusas, really good. I drank Coca-Cola, really good. So tomorrow, what we are going to do is this exercise. I want you to participate just with uh, five sentences or three or try to express yourself right try to express yourself with your daily situations that's how you are going to learn so mañana lo primero que vamos a hacer es esta actividad me van a hablar de lo que hicieron ayer o el fin de semana y yo les voy a dar la retroalimentación para que ustedes vayan practicando y mejorando la pronunciación I guess that will be all for today Hay mucho gusto en conocerlos nice to meet you all espero que Eh, nos vemos mañana muchas gracias por su esfuerzo sé que es complicado es kind of complicated pero enfocémonos en, en nuestro objetivo ok vamos a tratar de hablar más y tratar de que hablen todos ok thank you very much and have a nice uh, night right good night bye see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow